Manuel in Santiago, Chile writes, and he says, how does DSD to PCM conversion work? I've noticed that some software, like Rune, have the option of converting DSD to PCM before sending the signal to the DAC. Does this process lose information and or quality? Are there pros and cons of doing this conversion? Well, Manuel, as in most things in life, it all depends on how you do it. <laughs> We've talked about this before. DSD is, is certainly our preferred format. Certainly at Octave Records for recording, we use only DSD for the recording process. But then we convert DSD to PCM, high resolution PCM at like 352, which is referred to as DXD, but that's just that's just marketing. It's it's 352. So when we record at Octave, we use what's called quad rate DSD or DSD 256, which runs at about 11.2 megahertz. Very, very high speed. I mean, ain't nothing else even close to it. And we capture every single nuance in the microphones and the recordings, unlike anything PCM can do. And once you have that captured, if you're careful and you use the right programs, you can get 99.9% .9 of everything you captured in DSD converted over to PCM so that we can then mix it and then convert it back to DSD, either through the analog process where we, where we do our mixing we, we in, in some cases, we go to analog and then back to DSD-256, which is kind of my preferred way of doing it. But then, of course, now you're introducing the sound of a DAC, right? So it's not all just math, but we can talk about that later because there's, like everything, there's pros and cons. <laughs> and you got to look at the alternatives, right? So we're just looking for the very best recordings we can possibly make. Anyway, I got off on a tangent. I apologize. So how do you convert DSD to PCM? Well, in its simplest thing, you run it through a digital low-pass filter. Okay? You lop off all that high-frequency stuff and do your little magic with the, the, the arithmetic, and you get D, uh, PCM. So it's basically running it through a digital low-pass filter. Now, I'm not a programmer. I'm an old analog guy. I solder transistors and I design things with transistors. When it comes to digital audio, I've got an understanding like this on a subject that is bigger than this room. So fortunately, I understand more than <laughs> most of our customers do. So I can explain it in ways that keep it kind of simple. I am not a mathematician, never claimed to be, but I do know that's the process. Now, we use what's called a Zephyr filter, and this is, it, it, it is a, um, uh, a, what's the name of, I don't remember exactly the name of it, but R Richard and Tim Murrison of Bit Perfect designed it. And it, again, it's, it's a, a low-pass filter, and it really works amazing. I mean, I listen on the identical monitoring system that we originally recorded the DSD stream at 256 DSD, and I'm listening to that, and then we convert it over to 352 P PCM through the Zephyr process. I don't hear any difference. Is there a difference? Probably. But if I can't hear it, who gives a rat's ass, right? Oops. You can't say ass. Okay, sorry. Here, you know, he, the old guy's losing his mind. All right, sorry about that. I, I hope that helps, though. That's basically the process, and there's lots of programs that that can do that. Um, programs built into computers. Uh, Rune has one, as you point out. So, yeah, that's how it's done. Okay, thanks for the question. Talk to you later. Bye.